Game sale consoles, not high def DVDs. Let's talk about this for a minute. That's getting into the video inside. This video is sponsored by Adobe. Let me comment on one of my videos about Adobe Acrylic Studio 2. Windows hardware. Do I really like it? Yeah, I like it. 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 You can make any of these alpha transitions on your own in any motion graphics app, but we're going to go to the Apple page, and if you go to the Final Cut Studio page and select Resources, Apple supplies you with a good bit of alpha transitions right here. You can download them along with compressor droplets and color looks, and in another video we'll go over the color looks, how to install on all that, but right now we're concentrating on the alpha transitions. Download them. It's almost a gig, so expect it. It might take a while. Let's go to Final Cut Pro. Okay, as you can see, I have two clips laid in Final Cut Pro. I have this one here, butted right up against this one. They just go right to the next one clip, goes right to the next one. No transition whatsoever. We want to use our alpha transitions. So as you can see, now we have our alpha transitions downloaded. I'm going to drag my leaves alpha transition in, and maybe my circle alpha transition in. Okay? And I'm going to close that out. Now as you can see, they're right down here in um, my project. So as you can see, we have our little cut here where we cut our clips. I'm going to open up one of our transitions. As you can see, there's three clips. Uh, the clip, the clip alpha mat, and the white mat. The clip itself is just of some leaves. You can see you can make these in anything as long as it has a transparent background. Okay, that could be a car going across the screen or anything as long as it's got a transparent background. Then there's the uh, alpha mat, which any motion graphics app can export an alpha channel. Okay. And then there's the real simple white mat, which is like this, okay? I have another one here, circles. Let me demonstrate those for you. We've got the white mat, which is like this, as you can see. And then there's the alpha mat, just like the others, okay? So let's go ahead and use our leaves, okay? So we're going to have to add a transition to this. So go to your effects, and under your video transitions, Go down to Wipe and open up your Wipe folder, and the first one will be Alpha Transitions. <clears throat> let's take that, let's grab it and drag it right down here onto our edit point. Okay, that throws that on there. Let's double click it to load it in. And you'll see we got our normal transitions controls, except we have these three image wells. You guessed it, that's where our clips go. You can see the first one is Clip, so we'll take our clip and put it in. The next one will be the Alpha Mat. We'll put that in the right spot, and then the next one will be the Wipe Mat. Put it right here. And now we have our clips in place. So let's take our transition and make it longer. Like that. Now you see that stretched it way out. Now let me grab a render. Now as always, rendering will be relative. Um, it depends on your machine and a lot of deciding factors. So my machine might be rendering faster than some of your guys's, And it might be rendering slower than others. Um, rendering is really the devil. Um, it sucks, I know. There's nothing you can really do to get out of it. You can do a lot of things with real time and stuff with today's equipment and software <clears throat> that really increases real time playback and improvement. But as far as getting that true real time playback where you never have to render no matter what you do to the clip, I don't see that happening anytime soon on desktop home machines. Um, just a few years ago, things were excruciatingly slow compared to what they are now. So most people haven't been in editing very long, and they don't know how slow it used to be, so they have nothing to compare it to, but trust me, for me, this is fast. Okay, now we have our rendered transition, and as you can see, when it comes to, there's our transition, and it will transition right over to our next clip. As I stand up there, you can see I'm standing up, and as I stand up, it transitions right out into the next clip. If I can play this back in real time... See? Transitions right out. Really nice. Um, of course, you got the opacity. You can adjust the opacity of the leaves. Okay, you can see there. More and more opacity, less opacity. You can reverse the transition assets. Okay. Which kind of makes it, as you see, makes it go backwards. Okay. The, the uh, leaves. And, of course, everything else is... Um, your basic transition stuff. But I basically wanted to show you how these clips worked. So now let's do one more. Let's get rid of this alpha transition. And we'll use the circle this time. 
let's go to our effects apply an alpha transition just to drive this home double click it let's go back to our project let's put our circles in this time So, and we'll stretch the length out. We'll render it. And there's our second alpha transition rendered. As you can see, the bubbles come up, and inside the bubbles is the next clip. Okay, you see that? If I can play it back in real time here. Beautiful. I love these new alpha transitions that are available in Final Cut Pro. And trust me, this movie uh, that I'm using, it, it's an H.264. And I know Final Cut Pro does not work well with H.264. But as you can see, it's... It does okay. It does a lot better than it used to. So, okay, there we go. That's how you use your alpha transitions inside FCP. I look forward to the next videos. We're going to go over some more stuff. We're going to, like I say, color, and we're also going to go over the new speed changes in FCP. So, thanks for watching.